So let's say you bought a K2 and you're not sure what you got. So let's walk through some of the physical pieces in this radio so you can identify them when you get yours. So if you pop off the top cover, uh, one thing to know is that you don't take off these two screws. You take off the one screw on the side. It'll save you a little bit of work. So you take off this screw, this screw, each screw on the side, and then one screw on the back corner of the cover. That gets you in. Then you can walk through, I guess we'll start in the back, in the top of the cover. So the first thing you have here is the KAT2. That's the automatic antenna tuner. And this is the KBT2, the, the K2 battery. And that comes with a switch that you can see maybe up here in the top back cover where you can turn the internal battery off and on. And then that's the speaker, which is standard. Um, I'll show you the back cover later, I think, because you can see already by the extra two BNC connectors here that that's where the tuner would go. So I'll show you that so you can see that. There's the two, and you use antenna one or antenna two, and you stop using the regular antenna connector on the radio. And then you can see transverter in and out. That's different. And then this one has the external speaker jack also. The only thing missing over there is the KIO2, which is the auxiliary IO. And I'll be putting that in shortly. That came with one of the other radios just loose that somebody didn't install. So I'll put it in this one since it's the full featured radio. And then if I can get that to stand up there, we can go down here. I'll tip this up since usually you can't see the component side. And it says K60XV, which is the 60 meter coverage plus low level split path for transverters. I'll leave that loose. And then over here is the 160 meter antenna. So when you get that one, you'll end up with an extra jack here called receive antenna. And you can recognize actually the extra jack here, the receive antenna, and then also the transverter uh, connectors in and out on the back. So that's another way to see if you've got the transverter interface. And then inside the radio, you can see this one, which is the noise blanker. And you can see this square board here. That's the SSB interface. And then if I can tip it up here, one more angled shot. Here you can see the KAF2, which is the real-time clock and audio filter, which is a very nice feature to have. So I think that's a walkthrough. Um, the other one you can see by turning the radio on, I guess, is that, I guess you can't really see that much. Let me lift it, that the, pardon me, that the, that the, uh, the there's a backlight on the LCD, which was not in some of the earlier options. So there's a walkthrough of a K2. Hopefully you bought one with lots of parts in it and uh, you're having fun with it. See ya.